Hello, my friend. So we're going to do this reading because I have time, a little time. Whoa. Okay, that one. <clears throat> that one. Bell's Deflection and Tree of Life Conception. So I don't know how I'm going to go about this. I'll just see what I'm pulling and what I'm getting. This is supposed to be a message from her to you. I hope it resonates. I hope it's clear. Um, okay, let's see. Shamanic tribes use the sound of bells to ward off evil spirits, negative entities, and pending danger. While the bells ring loudly and draw attention, the person shaking the bells is silent. This is most certainly not the time to be overly vocal or to bring focus back to you. Keep your thoughts, intentions, and ideas to yourself to avoid becoming the center of scrutiny. Others may be jealous, critical, or doubtful. So she could be talking about her experiences right before she passed. Nourish a dream or plan by protecting it from unwanted influences and outside drama. Gossip and all that goes with it does not serve who you wish to become. Alarm bells have been ringing lately and what you have suspected is confirmed. Something is being covered up and you have been deliberately diverted from the truth. It takes courage to walk away but you must deflect any negativity that may be a drain on your time and energy. Be aware of any subconscious thoughts that have connected you with or created unwelcome energies. Shamans use bells for space clearing and ritual and ceremony. Something about a Pisces. Allow bells to raise your vibrational energy to a higher level this will help you, maybe when you hear bells, that's her sign to you. This will help you in your shamanic abilities as well as with deflecting situations you no longer require in your life. Understand the ripple effect of your words, thoughts, and actions. Bells revealed. The bell branch is used for healing invoking spirits and to summon the spirit of sacred sites. Forms of the bell branch or spirit chaser use animal bones and or sacred trees. Traditionally, the bell branch was a tree branch, white or silver in color with gold bells attached. It was used to remove negative energy and I am getting the weirdest feeling doing this reading. Kind of like a uh, I think what it would feel like to have a weapon pinned against you and waiting for it to be used, but it's the torch is more in it not being used. Hold on. This is weird. And it's right in my chest. Um, It was used to remove negative energy and unwanted intrusions by creating a vibrational gateway to the other worlds through resonance. Other meanings, time for some space clearing, burn sacred sage to clear away any negative energy from your home or place of work, choose your words carefully and wisely, be aware of your every action, step away from your current situation, heed the warning signs you've been ignoring. The poem is ding a ling a ling flee away. My sound keeps the evil spirits at bay. I come to you as warning sign. Heed my heed my message and you'll be fine. Okay, it's getting a little hard to breathe. It might be because I have the windows closed, but I'm gonna read this one. Nothing can grow. 
no person, plant, or idea if it is not properly nourished. From the moment an idea is conceived, it is vital you nurture it so it can come to fruition. If you are thinking about having or extending a family, be sure you are doing so for the right reasons. Calling a divine being into this world is a big responsibility. Again, this could be speaking of her and her circumstances at the time. If you have an amazing idea, then research, prepare, and be ready to see it through. All additions to our lives bring forth challenges and change, but also offer important spiritual connections. We all have roots that are seated in our past lives and branches that stretch out into our future possibilities. How you tend to your tree affects what it produces, either a healthy apple or a spoiled fruit. A dying tree weak at the roots or bereft of foliage means a compromised connection to the source of all life as well as to your inner wisdom. From such a place, very little stands a chance of being given life. Tree of Life Revealed Ancient and modern religions use a tree of life to symbolize the process of attaining wisdom or enlightenment. The Kabbalah, Axis Mundi, and the Bodhi tree are all prime examples. The tree is a pillar of strength, a connection between realms, and a symbol of balance. Trees remind us of the importance of nurturing ideas from tiny seeds if you want them to thrive and bear fruit. Other divinatory meanings. Solid preparation is key to your success. Take responsibility for your actions. A new idea needs capital planning and consideration. See a project through from start to finish. A challenge is a blessing in disguise. A decision needs to be made. Time to reinvent yourself. So only you will know if that's for her or for you. Or for from her to you. Or her telling you what she was going through. Um, the Tree of Life's poem. From first small seed to mighty tree, be sure to learn from all you see. Keep roots healthy and leaves in light. Enlightenment awaits joy in sight. Um, I want to do something quickly. Where is the ring? Where would she be able to find the missing ring? The missing ring. Where would she be able to find the missing ring? Something about work. Something about work. An office. A shop. Hmm. A courthouse. A lawyer's office. Where would she be able to find maybe a pawn shop? Knight of Pentacles. Maybe it got pawned. Two sevens, no, so eight seven, eight seven knight. Somebody in a brown car could have gave it to somebody else, found it and gave it to somebody else. Somebody that lives on a dirt road. Possibly near a police station. Okay. That's that. Now, what would you like her to know? I'm just going to pull five cards. Would you like her to know? 
king of pentacles businessman wealthy successful provider five of swords card game gambling casino slot machine defeat but but utter shame let me keep going first what would you like her to know? Nine of Cups. The Fool. Something about crazy, traveling, mind racing, unstable. Eight of Wands, communication. Burn some, did, she, did somebody burn somebody? steal from somebody, rob from somebody, and then try to run from somebody. Utter shame. Okay. I feel like she's saying she could have possibly did something, somebody might have did something. Um, illegal, unfair, unjust, immoral, utter shame was shameful about it. And then went into a state of paranoia because of the messages that were coming in. This is somebody utterly that has lost it. Their marbles, everything. Uh, King of Pentacles. What do you want us to know? Eight of Cups in reverse. So wanting to go away. Two eights, new knowledge. Realized somebody was coming. What is this? Pinnacles reached the pinnacle. King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups in reverse. Was supposed to go away. Maybe couldn't get away. Was stuck. Eight of Cups in reverse, utter shame, then could have gotten, oh God, why is this going this way? Why? I don't know if she wants, this is what, do you stay or do you go? You are caught between walking away from a disappointing situation or trying one last time to make things better, but can the circumstances really improve or is it a lost cause? Let me just, uh, stickers. And this might help you know that she's here. What do you want to say? King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups in reverse. Stay or go. Work? Is this works? Stay or go. Uh, King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Stay or go. Somebody, mm, I don't like that. This could have something to do with work, a college, a community, a certain way of life, but somebody was, and possibly a Libra, somebody saw behind what was happening. Best beer in town. Um, five of swords in reverse. What is this about? Mm. 
Maybe she liked Bear, Magician, A Way Out, Six of Swords, If You Tell the Truth, I don't know what I'm getting here, Five of Swords in Reverse with the Magician, Five of Swords in Reverse with the Magician. What's the Five of Swords in Reverse, Utter Shame? and a way to fix it. Five of Swords in Reverse with the Magician. Okay. Anzac, something about April 25th, something about 1919, something possibly about Memorial Day, something about Australia, peace, and one, two, three, four, five, five of cups. Something about drinking. And something about France. Again, a dollar. Okay, let me keep going. What's the nine of cups about? What's the Nine of Cups about? The devil. Materialism, he's doing coke, they're at a nightclub. Wish somebody's wishing to just keep living the high life. Somebody's wishing somebody would curb their addiction. Whether that's gambling, drinking, drugs, uh, dealing, Nine of Cups with the devil. Somebody's got their wish that somebody would stay hooked. Nine of Cups with the devil. What is this about? So, hooked, yeah, come meet, no. okay, Eiffel Tower, Tower, but it goes 15, 16, let me get you high, and then let me shock you with what I'm about to do, something about a car, maybe a pink car, uh, the fool in reverse, Someone's out of their ever stinking mind. What is this about? The Fool in Reverse. Two of Swords. Which is really the three. I never noticed he had that knife down there. Two of Swords. So I've got two weapons. One I've already used. The Fool. Somebody had a hard decision to make. What's the fool in reverse? Um, could be talking about a truce. Somebody wanted to call a truce. Could be talking about a friend. Could be talking about a false truce. Could be talking about a false friend. Which is brew. Yeah, brew. We're back to cups. Fear. Which is brew. Did somebody give somebody something? Tempt them. Snake and the roses. I don't know, this is the story she wants me to tell you. Eight of Wands, what's this communication about? Let me go here. What's the communication about? Nine of Wands. Which means so arguing, talking. Um, this is the Nine of Wands in the upright. Guarded, hiding. Nine of Wands in reverse. No more working. 
something about a discussion about work. Somebody's sacrificed or told or sore. Eight of Wands with the reverse Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands with the reverse Nine of Wands. Twigs. And vaccinated as fuck. Band-Aids, nurse. Eight of Wands with the reverse Nine of Wands. Because you didn't do this, you're going to lose this position. Because you didn't do this, Twigs, Tree of Life, Wands, Wands, more. Okay. So, let me get, I didn't get a song, so I'm going to quote, so I'm going to quote, So I'm going to quote Okay. Nothing can come between us, Shade. It's about faith and you need someone on your side. I'll do whatever I have to do. I won't let you go through this alone. Tell me what you need. So I feel like she's thanking you for being there for her, for taking care of things. Um, I think I want to end with one of these. I do. That just kind of jumped. If it's alone, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not alone. Okay. Like it flipped. Move by the call. Move by the call. Yeah, I do feel like she was summoned somewhere. Um, wild love of my own soul, I call upon you. I trust in the process of letting go and the wild loving life calling me to my divine destiny. I trust in my fearless spirit. Um, I want to get you one more. Okay. So she's saying she's always around. She's saying thank you for taking care of things. She's saying there were some things done that she regrets. And there were things done that she's amazed by. Okay, this is the last message. What would you like to say? Self acceptance. Again, I don't know if she's speaking about herself or you. So it says, which hazel? Which is brew? swords, decisions. Do you want to be crazy or do you want to be a badass? Do you want to be a badass or do you want to be risky? 
self-acceptance, which Hazel harmonizes opposites and encourages the acceptance of individuality. Goldstone, one of my favorite stones, helps with attaining goals and recognizing one's own value. The journey to a self-acceptance can be challenging. Humans are contradictory contradictory creatures who seek order. Reconcile your seemingly opposing qualities and find the common root. Overcome society's brainwashing and accept that you are enough, you have value, trek to achieve self-acceptance is worth it, you are worth it. The mantra is, I accept myself as I am, I recognize my contrary nature, and revel in the creature chaos that is my soul. I am enough. My love, my friend, that's for you. I hope it resonates. If you have any questions or need further clarification on anything, you let me know. All right, thank you. Sorry it took so long.